Planet Earth, where the human race resides, is undergoing a continuous dynamic change. Heat and attendant molten rock material, originating from the interior, gradually change the morphology of the surface and bestow on it beautiful landforms. The resulting architecture and carvings of the rocks form the colourful and panoramic landscape of the Afar, which have all resulted from the relative motion of crustal plates floating on the viscous portion of the mantle or the asthenosphere. These numerous mosaics of crustal plates interact through convergence, divergence or transform motion. The land and ocean basins are part of the plates that are in the three mechanisms of motion that shaped the surface of the earth over the years. Beginning about 30 million years ago, the African and Arabian land masses underwent plate divergence that caused the formation of an oceanic crust. The moving apart of the two crustal plates formed the Afar Triangle, located at the intersection of the three main structural units, that is the Red Sea, the Gulf of Aden and the East African Rift. The geological processes marking the evolution of the three arms of the rift are well demonstrated in the Afar Triangle, which offers a natural laboratory. The northern part of the Afar Depression presumably represents the continuation of the rocks found in the Red Sea. However, a multiple crustal displacement and volcanic eruptions within the northern part of the Afar Triangle are believed to represent tectonically disrupted ocean water. Heating and evaporation of the saline water left behind common salt, potash and gypsum deposits which make up the Dalol landscape. The crossing of the African and Arabian plate boundaries within the Afar Triangle provides the rare opportunity to witness the transition from a continental to an oceanic crust. However, median volcanic ridges or ranges have yet to develop similar to those characterizing seafloor spreading. Recent events of tensional fissures, crustal extension, displacements and volcanic activity are all markers of the large-scale diverging plates. In the recent geological past, the Afar Triangle has been affected by swarms of open tensional fissures and normal faults. The Afar Depression is sharply limited on both sides by steep scarps and step faulting.
The rapid crustal extension within the Afar is noted by the thinning of the crust to about 15 to 20 km thickness, making it a more favourable site for volcanic eruption. Thus, the Doare volcanic eruption of September 24, 2005, directly related to the crustal attenuation of the area, as reported by scientists of the Addis Ababa University. Ground survey by the team also observed significant swarms of tensional fissure and normal fault development moments before the eruption as verified by the data obtained from devices monitoring earthquakes. We can have a look now. I mean it's hot. Yeah, hot. Where is that? After noting a significant discharge of fumarolic steam and other gases along the tensional fissures, it was evident to the team that eruption was soon to follow and they left the area quickly. Soon after the group left the vicinity, the eruptions took place along the observed fissures. We observe here a depression called an eruption vent formed by explosive volcanic eruption occurred in September 2005. As we know very well, the region is a volcanic terrain and is expected for new volcanic eruption. We were here together with you last Monday, and the eruption took place just two hours later we left the place. The products of the eruption are volcanic ash fallouts, dispersed widely and around the vent, and fragmented pumice forming a sort of plug in the center of the vent. Volcanic ashes are generally the results of high degree of fragmentation, and hence they are produced by extremely violent eruption. All the pre-eruption earthquakes and ground deformations are the consequence of the extremely violent nature of the eruption.